Joining me on today's show, I have three industry professionals. First, Eric Dusenberry, Business Development Representative from the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, also known as MISHTA. Wes McCaig, who is the owner and broker of Visible Homes Real Estate Brokerage, and Donna Ferguson with Amira Mortgage, who is one of Michigan's top producing MISHTA loan officers. Welcome everyone to the show. Thank you. Thank Happy you. to have you on. Um, we've got a lot of, like I said, a lot of great programs to talk about that the state of Michigan provides. So Eric, we will begin with you. First, give us a real brief overview um, of MISHTA. Sure. Well, MISHTA's uh, home ownership division is responsible for making sure there are affordable lending options available for Michigan residents, including down payment assistance. We also uh, monitor and oversee a, a home ownership counseling network throughout the state uh, that offers counseling services associated with the home buyer education and foreclosure prevention and things along those lines. And th they're throughout the state. Okay. And you specifically <coughs> are, where, what area do you work out of? Well, my particular area is Southeast Michigan okay. is, is where I work out of and service. Uh, we have uh, people in, in my position that, that, that uh, do things like myself throughout the whole state. Okay. So MISHTA is, um, it's fair to say, it's a pretty large organization statewide, right. um, many different programs. So what is, I guess, um, the main one that we want to focus on today is the, the down, down payment assistance. Right. Down payment assistance is available for people who have limited cash assets. Okay. okay. So if they don't have that much money, down payment assistance is available. It's up to $7,500, and that can be used for your down payment, your closing costs, and your prepaids on a mortgage, which is your uh, taxes and insurance that's due at closing. That $7,500 is, uh, there's no interest on it, and there's okay. no payments that are due on it. Um, it does have to be paid off when the house is sold, for example, but there's no payments and no interest that accumulates on it. And people can typically move into a house with a down payment assistance loan for about 1% of the loan amount. So on a $100,000 house, typically you're looking at about $1,000 to move in with okay. down payment assistance. Okay, so I mean that seems, um, how is that taken, I mean how is that, are there many people who take advantage of this? Well yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that take advantage of down payment assistance. Obviously we want everybody who qualifies uh, to, to be able to, to take advantage of it. There are some limitations. Uh, on down payment assistance. Typically, you have to be a first time home buyer okay. to get down payment assistance. We do have targeted areas throughout the state where anybody could get down payment assistance. Okay. And there are in, uh, income limitations okay. uh, that generally range from about 62000 to just a little over 100000 So it kind of depends on what county you live in as mm -hmm. to what income is used for down payment assistance. Okay. Okay, so Wes, tell us then um, <laughs> from the realtor's perspective, when working with home buyers, how do you um, approach this or let or, or make um, clients aware? Well, usually a lot of times when, <clears throat> when a client will come to us, we see this often where they may be pre-approved for 150,000. Okay. And with a traditional FHA loan, they would need a down payment just, just above $5,000. And they may not have that. So they tend to kind of scale down on what they're looking for. Maybe look oh. at an 80, $90,000 house, even though it's not really what they want. Okay. And then we inform them about this option, and, and if they see if they qualify, if they do qualify, as Eric mentioned, they can buy a house with just 1% of their own money down. So on that same $150,000 house, they could do that transaction for $1,500 out of pocket, as opposed to with a traditional FHA without down payment assistance, it would be okay. over 5000 minimum, and that doesn't count the, the closing costs. Okay, and this, is this specifically for the first time home buyer? Or no? Well, there's different areas. Oh, um, so, okay. for example, in Washtenaw County, you do not have to be a first-time home buyer. In certain okay. parts of Oakland and um, Wayne, or I would say the majority of Oakland and Wayne, you do have to be a first-time buyer. And the one thing that I want to point out is a lot of people don't know the definition of a first-time buyer. Right. A first-time buyer is someone who's not owned a home in the last 36 months. So you could have owned a home um, five years ago, okay. sold it five years ago, and now you're considered a first-time home buyer again. Okay. See, yeah, I, I didn't know. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so then the first time home buyer isn't necessarily the first. Correct. It's a first little, home you're ever little buying. misleading, I believe. I, you know, if, if someone yeah. has known home in 36 months, that's the definition. Okay. Um, Eric, kind of going back to, well, I guess either one of you, who, I mean, who, so why wouldn't it be someone want to take advantage of this? 
doesn't seem like there would, it doesn't seem like it would be. Well, not everybody knows about the programs that okay. are out there. You know, a large part of, of, of what we do when we go out, we visit with lenders and we visit with realtors and we do continuing education classes for different groups. Um, and we try to get the word out and what's available and what's not. Okay. Um, you know, we do maintain a, a list of approved lenders on our website. Mishta has a pretty good website okay. uh, that, that allows people to understand uh, how the programs work. Um, you know, really they just have to go online and look at our participating lender list to find okay. out who is out there and doing the programs. Um, we also have an experienced lender list on our website. People like Donna would be on that. People okay. who do a lot of Mishta mortgages. Um, so as far as th that goes, you know, not everybody knows about it. We try to educate the lending community and the real estate community as best we can on the programs that are out there. Okay. And Wes, you've been really um, knowledgeable and successful with working with this program too from a real estate perspective. Correct. So you have, how long have you been um, involved? Well, you know, my background it, before I had opened up my real estate company, I had a background in mortgages as well. Right. So I've been on both sides of it. I've been, for years I was doing the lending side of it, and for years now I've been doing the real estate side of it. Okay. Um, but I think Eric mentioned a great point. A lot of people don't know about the program. Right. And so there are so many people who, out, who are out there who technically do qualify for the program, but the bank that they're going through the pre-approval with may not be approved to offer it. Okay. So they're never informed of it. Okay. And so, and I, I even think you probably see a lot of people who call you who don't oh, yeah. know about it. Yep. Well, yeah, Don, I was going to ask um, if someone, okay, so someone contacts your office or contacts you, what do they have to have? Um, what, what are you looking for them to have? Well, they should have all of their income from all sources available, so because it does entail income from all sources for the entire household. Okay. So that would be. Part of the, the documentation or something they would need to have readily available. Um, basically, your income documentation, your uh, credit, what your liabilities are monthly that would be reported to a credit bureau. And um, that's about it, just to see if you would qualify. Okay. And Wes, what would they need um, if going to a realtor? What, was a, what would a realtor need from a potential um, first time home buyer? Yeah, well, typically, I mean, they want to have their pre approval in place. Okay, so um, they want to so, already have so talked to you. Contacting someone like Donna then, would be the, the first step okay. of the, you know, because they want to make sure that their credit checks out, their income, right. they meet income requirements, asset requirements, those types of things. And, um, and, and that then they we, qualify for the and loan. And then they qualify, correct. Okay. And so once, once those things are in place, um, then, you know, we begin, you know, the home search process. Okay. Um, what about, we had talked about um, counties and different qualifying things. What, um, what about the property requirements? I mean, the, does this go for a townhome, a condo, a, a home, a land? Single family and, mostly, correct? I mean, yeah. single family residents, no duplexes. Yeah, Mishta doesn't really have oh. that many uh, property requirements that are outside of standard agency guidelines. And a, the agency guidelines are like HUD and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Okay. Typically what we're looking for are single family detached homes, which are your, just your standard houses. Mm -hmm. Condominiums are okay as long mm -hmm. they're, as they're approved by those agencies. You can even do multiple section manufactured homes uh, on Mishta products as well. Okay. Yeah, so typically your townhouses and condominiums, those kind of complexes are going to be fine as long as they're agency approved, which is Fannie, Freddie, and, and HUD. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, if I were looking, I, I've already purchased a home years ago, but it sounds like I may be able to, if, and I'm looking for a new, a new home mm -hmm. now. So then what would the process be for me to find out if I qualify? Usually people will, will, will call an experienced lender. Okay, so that's the first yeah. step. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and, and once they do that, the lender will sit down with them. They'll take the loan application, collect the documentation. Once they look at the application, you know, they'll make the determination on, on your home buyer status, whether you're a first time home buyer okay. or not. They'll look at your income qualifications. They use the full family income when they look at your application, and Donna does this every day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the income uh, needs to be such that it's under Mishta's limit, and it depends on the county and the area that you're buying. 
and then we have targeted areas throughout the state as well oh, okay. uh, that Wes mentioned certain counties the whole county might be targeted where you don't have to be a first-time home buyer at all to take advantage of down payment assistance for example okay. so there, there, there's quite a list of things that, that, that the lenders will look at um, to make a determination of how you might qualify and if you qualify for Mishta financing okay um, so Wes take kind of take us through then the home buying process if once this is approved Okay. Well, you know, after the, the the first the lender speaking the lender is the first step, and we've already talked about that. Once right. they have the pre-approval in place, typically the home buying process starts with going to look at homes that meet, you know, their pre-approval range, their their comfort level with their payment. Okay. Um, those types of things that they discuss with their loan officer. Um, we set up a search for them, and then while we're out there when we're showing homes, um, what a real estate agent should do is screen the properties, f you know, for that buyer because they may not know all the property guidelines. Okay. Um, you know, there's there's houses that don't qualify for even, you know, standard loans, FHA and, and things like that. So okay. you go through the process once you find a home that's, um, you know, that they like, they put an offer in and, and really from there, you know, they do their home inspection and then they'll work on their their approval process. And that's when they go back to the lender for the second time. The first time they're talking okay. to the lender about their pre-approval. Right. Once they have the house in place, they go back to the lender and that's when they go through all the paperwork. Um, specific to that property that sales price and that closing date and they go through all the paperwork and then someone like Donna would take it from there okay yeah right. and then so then you're the second the second process correct and well normally what would happen is a pre-approval they would just call in and then we would do all of these things over the phone okay normally the application the actual formal application is would be tied with the property so it would be after they've gotten gotten an accepted offer and then okay. we would actually meet bring in the documentation that we've discussed previously over the phone, okay. and then um, start the actual process of the loan, which take normal time frame is 30 to 45 days for the whole process, you know, between getting title work and appraisals and stuff like that. Okay, all right. Um, no, one thing I wanted to say, going back to the counties, when we were talking about certain counties, sure. to be first time home buyer, in certain counties too, um, the income limits are a lot different. So going back to Washington County, I mean, because a lot of people, think this program is only for low income households and that's mm -hmm. not true. That's right, yeah. Right. I mean it's it's technically low to moderate. Right. But okay. with and as you already mentioned, that moderate can be over a hundred thousand dollars in some areas. So a lot okay. of people tend to not even look into the program because they think it's only for low income. Lo yeah, low income housing. Exactly. Okay. So that's that's something that so that's a big misconception that deters correct. people and also realtors that are aren't not that aren't aware or right. Yeah, a lot of realtors think too that it's for low income, low low sales prices. But with this program, okay. you can buy a house up to um, two, I believe, two hundred twenty four thousand okay. five hundred uh, is right now the the max. So you can get a, a pretty expensive house with sure. this program. And like I said, in certain areas, you can make over a hundred thousand dollars household income. Okay. Do you happen to know uh, off what counties or any of the specifics for any of the counties? The specifics are pretty detailed, are they? Um, okay. and, and the I, list is quite long. Okay. Um, it, it, you know, it, it ranges from about sixty-two thousand to the lo at the lowest county to over a hundred thousand in certain counties. Okay. And there's a lot of varying uh, slivers sure. yeah. of income sure. uh, between those two numbers. And also the size. Well, I mean, there's the two different size. tiers for just two people, and then when you get above two people, three people, then the income increases. So yeah, there's a lot of factors that go into what the income is. Okay. And that's one of the real reasons to use an experienced lender like Donna is that there's so many little uh, guidelines that they need to look at and it's second nature to, to what she does with participating lenders that may not be experienced. Sometimes it kind of falls through the cracks. Okay. Yep. I can see that. Mm -hmm. The exit happening. Yeah. And I think another nice thing too about the program is that, you know, a lot of first time buyers, they may dip into their retirement fund for a down payment. Sure. And as Eric mentioned earlier, this is interest free payment free and you only pay it back when you pay off the first mortgage so um, you know why there's no point in cashing out your retirement when you can get an interest-free down payment assistance okay how is let me just ask how is the process or how long would the process take for me to inquire if for example if I qualified what's the typical, I usually do it with, I mean if it can it, be done within an hour oh okay so this yeah. isn't like you have to wait no days mm -hmm. okay. right and that's one thing too that a lot of people think too. It's oh, if I'm if I'm doing this, it's going to add another month onto my right. loan process, and that's yeah, that's not true. No, it's pretty much instantaneous. I mean, when I get the information and can do it and calculate everything, okay. I usually call back within an hour. Okay. Um, 
Well, aside from the 